serious people of religion view it. Um, for God, he is definitely a man of prayer. Uh, and he prays not to change the circumstances in his life, but to change his attitude toward them. And I think that's one key element of prayer. What happened in your prayer? Well, nothing. That there were no fireworks or, or anything like that. I, it was just a quiet moment. And, you know, I felt better afterwards. So I think the important aspect of prayer is that we're not really concerned with the mechanism or the, the why of it so much as the what. Right? If it works, it works, and you don't need to question why. Well, at the end of all of this research, this journey, what did you find out about why we pray? I mean, however we choose to do it, why, why, or why do we do it?
certain political party or a certain race just because uh, that's the dominant view, but it, uh, it doesn't fit with the public institution where we should be teaching people that they can get along and they have things in common, and this is a system to try to make people feel different and feel excluded. What was it about that? It just felt wrong to you. But it, it felt quite like degrading to being told that you have to stand and attribute to someone else's no more humiliating experience, I think, and it's, it's something that we wouldn't do anywhere else in Canada. Was it just mostly about you, or were you considering others too? I was considering other people that we actually had a petition in the school where most of the students had said that they didn't want the Lord's Prayer. The school didn't listen to the petition from the students, and I finally just got to a point where I decided that I would sit during the prayer rather than stand. Can you take me back years ago and, you know, describe me? It was uh, 1986, and I was in my grade 12 year. I was uh, 17. In, in our homeroom at our school, we'd uh, have opening exercises. And right after that, there'd be broadcast of the Lord's Prayer. And I decided that I was going to sit rather than stand for the Lord's Prayer. The legislation didn't say that you had to stand. And from there, I, the homeroom teacher became quite upset, sent me to the principal's office, which was a frightening experience because I wasn't used to being sent to the principal's office. Uh, I was told that I'd be suspended from school if I didn't stand for the Lord's Prayer, and that's finally what happened. I was suspended for what was to be forever unless I participated in the way that they said and prayed in the way that they said. So you were suspended from school. What about outside of school? What were the repercussions of sitting while the prayer was happening? We got a lot of harassing phone calls. We actually got death threats, a, a number of letters from supporters of the prayer. More than half of those were unsigned. Some of them were in extremely angry tones. Uh, some of them were things like pornographic cartoons of how they wanted to be mutilated and these types of things. So it sort of made you wonder what kind of morality people are actually trying to promote. So when you say we got these things, who do you need we? But myself and my family. We had other things happen as well. We had the family built into our property, so we had scrap iron we put in our hay field to damage machinery. We had the headlights smashed out of our vehicle and the black cross painted on the highway in front of our farm and so on. So a lot of really negative behavior over what was essentially my decision not to uh, participate in, in something that I shouldn't have to participate in. Wow, that's that's extreme reaction to not wanting to do prayer. I mean, what was your response to people's reaction and behavior toward you and your family? I, I was quite surprised and for the community to pick this as an issue and to do it in the way that they did was uh, kind of troubling. There was also a petition circulated in the community that uh, said the issue was discipline and it wasn't about religion and a lot of neighbors were pressured basically to sign it and the rural community to come forward and say that you're a member of the problem. It's kind of a, a very hurtful experience. My family has been there for four generations and worked quite hard in the community club. They've been good citizens. So to come out and attack your neighbors over religious beliefs is kind of a kind of disturbing development, too. Was there ever a time when you know, your mom or your dad or your, you know, religious, as you said, um, 
now I can actually do it. <laughs> back down. There's a bit of adhesive on the back of so Just pressing it against the case so they stick in again properly. in those two black motherboard screws again. There's one. There's number two. Five flex cables. One. Two. Three. That one is still done. I did not do it when I uh, lifted the edge up before. So four, five. And put the antenna cable back in. Now, got one button back in the housing. Can pick up the other one. Slot the power button in. Oh, nice tricky part. Of it. Let's see if I can get this guy to snap back together properly. Take it apart again because the volume rocker came out. So, hopefully, I don't have to undo the whole thing. Just this one clip here. Instead of boring you guys right now, I'll do that in a minute. Let's see if it'll turn on. Because the power button's in properly. Okay. I didn't break it. is not fun to take apart. It's not that difficult, but... Always feels like you're gonna break it. There we go. 
it should be enough of a gap to get this guy in. I hope. I forgot the screws, but that's okay. Because for that, all I gotta do is put them in here. One. so you can hear it's working. Four. Seven. Now I put the back cover back in for good. And ta da. Now the problem before originally was the uh, this little headphone jack here. It's only pumping out audio from one side. I think. Uh, I think the headphones I were using was just been too much pressure pressure on the inside switch somehow must have bent it. So the only thing I need to test right now is go grab a pair of headphones and make sure I can hear properly. I'll be right back. some music. Just uh, not actually music, I'll just, just press play on the podcast here. Both ears are working again. Way easier than setting it for repair or waiting a couple weeks. Yeah, thanks for watching.